Excellent. Uh, so good morning. Um, I'm the Ben Fry, half of the Casey Reese and Ben Fry, who started the processing project uh, 18 years ago in 2001. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My man. Um, the name processing comes from two things. Uh, it's a play between the definition of computers as machines that process information and the idea of code being part of one's creative process. Uh, that writing software is one link in a broader creative endeavor, and the way that it's done is highly iterative, and the process itself can be as important as the outcome. Uh, processing is a means, not an end. We started the project in part because I was frustrated watching friends and people in Sparta and more talented than me who would otherwise drop out of computer science courses uh, because they were getting tripped up on data structures or O notation or some other eat your vegetables uh, sort of concept in the curriculum that, or that the curriculum had prioritized over engaging students and helping them actually create. Uh, this is an incredible loss to not have their voices contributing to the conversation. We were similarly frustrated by all the esoteric things first necessary to even begin coding, uh, installing multiple software packages, setting environment variables, and finding your way around a complicated development environment. These unnecessary steps create barriers that disproportionately affect the people that you most want to bring into the community, those not naturally drawn to technology um, or computing itself. Uh, so we made it a priority to have a tool that was simple to download and immediately use. Double click, run a write a line of code, have something visual uh, happen on the screen. Run an example, alter the code a bit, and see what happens next. Uh, going a bit further, this is about creators having control over their own tools. Uh, I want people to be impatient with what's readily available to them. I'm less interested in someone creating the next Photoshop, uh, but I do want them to create the tool that is the Photoshop they need for the project that they're actually working on at the time. Um, software can be very daunting and the technologies and tools that we use can seem very distant. And so I think it's easy to feel detached from them and not feel the, necess the necessity of circumventing them uh, within the and those systems that we've been given. And I think we've been too willing to use the tools provided to us created by companies whose primary interest is really their bottom line and not necessarily the artifacts that we create with their products. Um, that's not an anti-corporation or anti-profit sort of mantra, but it's about the importance of understanding, you know, A, where your uh, tools are coming from and B, the decisions that drive their evolution. It's about having more agency with your own creative process. And that also goes for processing as well. Uh, you should be making things that circumvent and leap past the things that we've done. Uh, and frankly, the sooner that you do this, the better. It's been 18 years and this is exhausting. Uh, open source has always been an important theme for us. Uh, foremost, it's a central part of establishing trust with our uh, community. But for me personally, it was also about paying forward the generosity of so many people who would share their code with me. Uh, this was how I learned to code even before it came, became fashionable to label things as open source or manifestos about free software had even been written. I wanted to benefit the same way, so open source is simply obvious and familiar for us. As far as accessibility, we've also come a long way from when Casey and I started grad school in the late 90s, uh, which was at the tail end of this work being limited to research labs and using computers the size of a mini fridge. Uh, by the early 2000s, you could buy a capable computer for a few hundred dollars, uh, which meant that the means was coming into place. We just needed to provide the platform, with, uh, which Casey and I sought to do via processing. And now in the current decade, the means is ubiquitous and we have newer initiatives like P5.js, which reinterprets our, those original ideas in more contemporary ways. Uh, more importantly, Lauren McCarthy has led the project with a renewed focus on inclusion and diversity, which means we're at a point where we really have more room to consider how this work is situated socially and how we really extend the boundary of the, those participating in the field. As the PCD site says, a focus of this project is to make learning how to program and making creative work with code accessible to diverse communities especially those who might not otherwise have access to these tools and resources. So the sessions today are about digging into what community, accessibility, and diversity actually means in that statement. A field gets interesting and only truly evolves when it expands by bringing in people with different kinds of abilities and experiences. I look forward to spending the day with you all to find our way uh, through to these goals. Thanks.